Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This here is the BYD Dolphin, a small compact electric car from China that is coming to Europe this year. In this video, I'm gonna do a quick tour around the car. I'm gonna show you the interior, the exterior. I'm gonna tell you about the specifications on this BYD Dolphin. Now let's start this video by discussing the exterior design of this BYD Dolphin. But let me first tell you a little bit about BYD if you're not familiar with the Chinese electric car company. They're actually more than just a car company. They started out making batteries in 1995 and a couple of years later, they started making cars. They have been making cars for around 20 years now. So they're not just a small tech startup from China. They're actually a very, very big car company. They're like one of the biggest car companies in the world, actually. But they're just starting here in Europe. They only got three models now, uh, the BYD Atto 3, the Han and the Tang. Uh, the Tang is a big SUV. The Han is a big sedan. And the Atto 3 is also a compact hatchback like this car. The Dolphin almost has the same dimensions as the Atto 3. It's actually a little bit more narrow and it almost has the same size as a uh, Volkswagen ID3 and also a Renault Megane electric and an MG4 electric. The car is a little bit uh, smaller than an MG4 and a little bit bigger than a Volkswagen ID3. Now let's have a look at the nose of the car. It really has a specific uh, design this car you either love it or you hate it i think so here you got the led daylights running and these are the headlights that are almost connected with each other with this big black strip here that says byd in the middle and um, you see some camo you see some camouflage on the car that is because this is the european spec of the byd dolphin uh, this car is already out in china actually there are already more than 300,000 of dolphins on the road in china um, but this is the European spec, which is a little bit different and they still try to keep it under wraps uh, with this camouflage here on the on the door sills and there's also some camo here uh, on the tailgate and here on the diffuser. Um, so this is the back end design of the Dolphin. As you can see, it has a continuous light strip uh, running all the way from the left to the right on the back. This is a BYD design element because they got the light strip on basically all their cars. And to be honest, on most cars nowadays from other brands as well, you get a continuous light strip. It's really in fashion. Let's have a quick look at the luggage compartment of this car. Uh, the car has a capacity of 352 liters, which is not amazing, but also not bad, but you do get a little bit more in the Volkswagen ID3. Um, you do get a lot of undistorted storage, as you can see, quite a lot. It is pretty hard to fold down the seats from here, uh, but that's not unusual in a car like this, but you can actually pull this lever and then you can actually um, fold down the rear seats. Now let's have a quick look at the back seat situation. Let me open the door and fold this back up. You actually get quite a lot of uh, leg room here in this car. This is a real Chinese car and the Chinese really like leg room in the back. So as you can see, there's plenty of room for my legs here. I'm one meter 80, uh, so not the shortest, not the tallest, but I do have plenty of space here. You also got some back pockets here, uh, three to be exact, a lot of back pockets here. And what I like is the fit and finish on the doors. Even in the back here, you got some soft material here. You do get some hard plastics on top, but also some fake leather here on the armrest, which is pretty nice. Um, this is quite funny. This is actually made to look like a dolphin's tail uh, because the car is called Dolphin. Uh, and I think this is really cute on a car. Um, so as you can see, the seats do look pretty fancy. Uh, it's all finished in fake leather. You can armrest here in the middle. You get this nice, uh, you get these nice headrests and also a headrest in the middle. So you could fit uh, three kids here. I wouldn't fit three adults here, but for three kids, it's fine. You do get two USB-C ports as well, uh, and only one cup holder here, but you do get the extra two cup holders here in the armrest. Now let's have a quick look at the interior. As you can see, pretty funky design. Now the first thing that caught my eye uh, were the air vents, because they look pretty funky. They are pretty out there, and I really like them, because there's a lot of electric cars that look very boring on the inside, but not this Dolphin. As you can see, you got a round air vent, but you got all these swooping lines going around it. And you also got some weird figures here. I'm sure this has something to do with the sea because this car has a lot of sea design elements. Again, you got the Dolphin fin here. And these are the front seats. They're like sports seats. They're very good to look at uh, with the integrated headrest here. They look pretty cool and they're actually quite comfortable. They do feel like a sports seat, but they are quite comfortable. So this is the interior of the Dolphin. Just like on any other car from BYD, this car has the tilting 
screen, as you can see, can flip for 90 degrees. And so you get a vertical screen now instead of a horizontal screen. I really like the feature. Again, um, it's pretty out there, but I kind of like it. Uh, what is also pretty out there are the controls here for the driving modes. So here's your gear selector, or well, not gear selector, but drive selector, I guess. This is the volume dial here that you can operate here. It's really big, which I really like, so you cannot miss it when you're driving. You don't have to fiddle around in the screen. You can just find it without even looking at it. You also got some storage here, a little cubby hole here with some USB ports and also a 12 volt outlet. There's two cup holders and then there's a place here to charge your phone. Let's also sit in the driver's seat for a second. Let's have a quick look at the steering wheel and the digital gauge cluster. Uh, just like on the ID3, you got a gauge cluster that is connected to the steering column. Uh, you got the starting button over here and then there's another air vent here and also an air vent over there and of course also on the left side as well this is the steering wheel uh, this is pretty funky again because you got the outline of a fish here uh, the three spokes all together kind of form a fish i've been told again pretty funky you either like this car or you hate it now this car doesn't have the panoramic sunroof but you can get one then let's quickly talk about specifications on this byd dolphin for now the car is only available with one battery size a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack that will provide the car with a range of uh, 430 kilometers now later on there will also probably be a smaller battery uh, but a battery that will be like 45 kilowatt hours the charge port door on the byd dolphin is located here on the right side you can fast charge this car up to 88 kilowatts which is not amazing but also not bad this car has a pretty special battery because this has the blade battery that is made by byd because like i said in the intro byd is also a battery manufacturer and the blade battery is one of the best batteries out there actually and according to rumors even tesla is using the byd batteries at the moment because they are so good they're using different batteries than most manufacturers because they're using lfp batteries which are more safe and they will last longer and they're really proud of their batteries and they're doing a lot of demonstrations with their batteries showing how you can hit a nail through the battery and the battery will not explode they're also doing demonstrations with really heavy trucks running across the battery packs and then putting the battery packs back into their cars and by doing so they're demonstrating that the battery packs can handle a lot of stress so that's everything you need to know about the byd dolphin uh, if you like this video make sure to subscribe to the channel i will be driving the car later on i'm guessing probably somewhere in the summer but the car will get to europe officially at the end of 2023 thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one